In the previous video we downloaded the Intune Win App Util and add it to our package. Now we're going to run it. In this video we're going to execute the exe file and then add in the parameters it wants to create an Intune Win file. And that's the bundle with all our software that we're going to upload later to uh, Intune Portal. So let's start. So we have two packages under C, Intune. So let's start with Google Chrome. We're going to do that by just running the exe file. So we can run this exe file and you don't have to run this as admin. You can run it as normal user. I'm going to run this from a PowerShell command line and normally you don't need to. But the reason why I do it is because when this one have finished to execute, it disappear and we won't see the result. So just for demo purpose, I will run this one from PowerShell. Normally you could just double click on it. So we do Alt F open in PowerShell and I'm going to open it in the normal one. So if we do an ls here we see we have our Intune Win app util file here. So let's run that and we need to do that with a dot backslash so it looks in current directory en and then I'll tab it. So it's going to ask us four questions. The first one is to specify the path to our source folder. So I'm going to have an explorer here with our package. So our source folder is here. We can shift right click on the source and then take copy as path. Very important that you shift right click. If not, you won't have that option. Copy as path. And then we will paste that in. So that's the source folder. Now it's going to ask for the setup file. And that we have within the source folder. And it just wants the name. And Here's our install script. We could take that, but when you have an MSI installer, a Microsoft software installer file, it's better to take that because it's going to help us later. And I'm going to mention that in this area. It's going to pre-fill the template when we create the application. So I'm going to do a fake rename here. Do an F2, Control A, Control C and copy this name. And then going to paste it here. Then it want the output folder. And we have that in our template. So let's go up one folder. And here we have our Outlook our output folder. Instead of uh, shift right click, we can also go home and copy as path. And then we paste that here. So here's our output folder. The last question is if you want to specify a catalog folder. That's only needed for Windows 10 S version, which stands for secure. And I'm not running it and I not heard so many running it. So normally you can say no to this. And it's also a feature who might not even be continued in Windows 11. So I'll put no on that. And after that, it's going to create this uh, Intune Win file. And if we didn't run this from the command line, once it reached 100%, it would just close. But here we say it works. It, I never had any problems with this, except one time when I run this on the Windows uh, 2016 server. And that could be because maybe it didn't have the right uh, .NET uh, framework version. But okay, I'll close this one. So now we have our output folder, our folder we had there. Now we have the file. and. We don't have to do that, but for curiosity, we can open it. So I will be using 7-zip, not native. You can download and install. But if we extract this content, and it's just to see what's actually in there. If we go in there, there is another one called Intune Win Package Folder. If we go in there, we have one content. If we go into contents, we're going to find another one with the same name with Intune Win, Intune Package dot Intune Win. And that one we can't extract any further. But under metadata, we find something interesting, an XML file. Let's open that one. We can open that. Let's open that in Notepad++. See if I can scroll, make this one a little bigger. So what we can tell is that name is Google Chrome, th that it's uh, encrypted. We also see the product code that start with 61. The product version, which is not at all because we're packaging version 92 and a lot of other information. And when we upload this to the Intune portal, it's going to read this data and pre-fill some of this for us. You definitely don't have and you shouldn't extract this file. It was just in order to see what was in it. So I'm going to shift delete this. 
So we only need this file. This file includes all our source file and everything we need to deploy it later. So perfect. We have now created our Intune Win file, uh, which we will upload very soon to the Intune portal. Well done.